guys, welcome to Code and Gameology. This is Elliot here. First of all, let me introduce a bit about myself. I'm a third grader, eight years old. I love coding and video gaming. I have been learning coding since I was five. If I can get it, you can get it too. Let me walk you step by step to this fascinating coding world. What is coding? Coding is a computer language used to program different things. Software, video games, websites, and apps. Coding turns computer binary language into human-friendly commands. Code tells computer what to do. Computer only understand binary language, which is zeros and ones. It will be so hard for us to communicate with computers with just zeros and ones. Imagine you only saying yes and no to your mom. There's a higher chance that you will be grounded. Luckily, today's coding languages translate those zeros and ones into human-friendly commands. Can you think of some things that use coding? Post in the comments below. Here are some examples. Phone, when you click the power button, it turns it on and off. YouTube, when you click the subscribe to my YouTube channel, you subscribe. Zoom, like a ton of st students are right now when they're in person or at home, they use Zoom. There are a ton of coding languages out there, but we're gonna focus on Scratch. Not scratching your back, but the Scratch coding platform. Scratch is a free coding platform created by the MIT Media Labs. It's easier for beginners to navigate through it. It works on both the PC and Mac computers. It turns coding into blocks with words and numbers on them. It's like a coding puzzle. With some of your imagination, creation, and just a bit of coding knowledge, we will be able to piece the puzzle together and make your own game in no time. Isn't that exciting? Let's make your Scratch account. Log in into Scraps website and create your own account. Don't forget to ask your parents to supervise you along the process if you are a minor like me. I will attach the link below. It's pretty straightforward to create an account. So here is the interface of Scratch. The area one is the Scratch code library. This is where you will find the puzzle pieces to put together. There are different colors to show different types of code, like a main idea. For example, the main idea of dark blue is motion. Area two. If you are wondering where you will piece the puzzle, area two is the area you're looking for. You will drag your code from area one to area two to code. Area three. Area three is where your amazing code will come to life. Area four is the sprites pan. This is where all your characters live. Things that you need to know. A sprite is a character, a backdrop is a background, costume is the character's appearances. A character can have multiple appearances. Wait seconds. Wait for a certain number of seconds. When green flag clicked, runs code when the green flag is clicked. Let's make our first game. Welcome to the most exciting part of our class, the game making. We, we're gonna make a game called Jumpy Cat. The cat is gonna jump over the rocks. As you can see, there's not a ton of code. So it is a very simple basic game and it is perfect for beginners. When we finish making it, it's gonna look something like this. Boing. The cat has to jump over rocks. And that's it. Now I'm going to start out as a new project. So right now we got this nice blank page over here. We need a sprite because it's too blank. You click here, it's going to pop up this line. And then choose a sprite. You can choose a sprite. You can do anything you want. But I'm just going to do the scratch cat because it represents scratch. Now we need an obstacle. You can do whatever obstacle obstacle you want, but we're going to choose a rock. Now it looks like the cat and the rock are in the middle of nowhere. So you're going to click, you just hover your mouse over here, and then you can click that. Now we're going to, you can do anything you want. I'm just going to choose the blue sky. Now they're really flying in the sky. Wow. So the cat is just going to be a bit smaller, and again, you can choose whatever size you want for the cat. And the rock can't be bigger than the cat. 
So we can have another 50. Now you can see that the cat is floating in the middle of nowhere. So we want the cat to come down. And this is depending on the x, y. x is horizontal or left or right. And y is vertical or up and down. So it's on the x and y scale. Now we want the cat to go to this position. So we're going to need to go two block. Again, just move your move the cat sprite with your mouse and then this will the see the go to block is constantly updating. Now all you have to do once you get in the position you like and then you grab that. You grab it and then it's just going to go here when you click it. If it's I'm going to get here anywhere it will go to here. Pretty useful, right? Now when the, fl when the green flag is clicked, now just when you click this, it's gonna go here. So no matter where it is, he will go here. Pretty useful. Now we need him to, when the space key is pressed, we want him to jump. So here we got two repeat 10 blocks. It does the things inside for 10 times. And we just gonna change the Y by 10. Y is the vertical up and down. Changing it by 10 will make, the, will make it go up. And then changing it by negative 10 will make it go down. Once it goes up and it goes down like a jump. But you could have, have noticed that its jump is a bit short. We're just gonna change it to 15. So it jumps a bit higher. Now you'll notice you've got a jumping cat but again, the rock is not moving. So we're gonna have it gone and when the flag is clicked, he can't just be flying like an asteroid and crash. So he's gonna have to be somewhere in here. So he's gonna have to go to, the, this is the ablated version. So it's gonna go here. Now he's gonna wait until he's touching the edge and repeat until and out of the repeat until a forever loop. Now it's going to repeat until, basically, like, it does the things inside of the repeat until loop until this condition is true, or until it's touching this side of the screen. But it's going to move negative 10 steps, or basically just go in that direction. And then you'll notice right now we got the cat, this rock sprite going there, but not returning, because we didn't code it. We want him to go back to the spawning position, so it looks like this. But you could have, have noticed that the rock is too fast. The, now this, this rock gives you the visual effect or makes it look like you're moving. But the cat leg arm aren't moving. To, to add some sugar to your ice cream sundae, let's have the cat's legs move. All we have to do is add on a forever, a wait, and a next costume. It's that simple. We turn it to 0 0.1. Now, the next costume, let's expand more on that. So, it basically, as you can see, there are two squares inside, and one is labeled Cat A, while the other is labeled Cat B. These are the two different costumes. Now, if you want to right click and duplicate it, it will be cat B2, or you can call it cat C. So uh, you can have as many costumes as you want for a single sprite. But we are only gonna have two for the, now we see that the cat is gonna be moving like this. You can of course adjust this weight number. It can be any number you want. Now the sky is a bit empty. So you can add anything you want. Let's add, um, I'm gonna add a bird. I'm gonna add the flying cat. It might look better. The flying cat. And he's just gonna be looking at his ancestor or the other form of him. And it's just gonna keep on next costuming. As you can see, they draw two costumes of the cat, this cat flying so the flying cat is just gonna keep on 
doing, well, I guess you can call it shaking the sky, while his ancestor jumping over rocks. Congratulations! You made your first Scratch game. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button before you go. Be sure to check out my The Jumpy Cat video. That's a level 2 game based on this one. See you in my next video. Meow.